What's up guys and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And today I have a fantastic Italian uh, post-apocalyptic action flick. It is Joe D'Amato's 1983 cult classic hit. It is Endgame. And this one is all kinds of craziness, all kinds of badassery, and all kinds of fun. So let's jump right into this one and check it out. Here is Endgame. Endgame is a weird and unusual post-apocalyptic action sci-fi thriller brought to us by those crazy Italians and directed by crazy genre madman Joe D'Amato. Filled to capacity with bizarre moments, explosive sequences, and violence aplenty, this manic early 80s production packs quite a punch, as well as possesses a multitude of strangeness that any lover of oddball cinema is sure to enjoy. From mutated freaks, malevolent monks, and warrior wastelanders, Endgame is a fantastically enjoyable and extremely entertaining post-apocalyptic actioneer that thrills to no end. The film follows a champion TV game show warrior named Ron Shannon, who is recruited by a telepathic mutant beauty named Lilith to lead her and her band of mutants to safety across the wasteland. Shannon enlists the assistance of a ragtag group of miscreants, assassins, and cutthroats to aid in their mission, and together they all set off across the post-World War III landscape. Can Shannon and his mercenaries keep Lilith and her mutant pals safe from harm's way? Or are they all doomed to die gruesome and horrible deaths by the hands of the radiated masses? Full of piss and vinegar, and quarks aplenty, the cast of Endgame is a rambunctious bunch, laying heavy on the outlandish elements of the film as they go just hog wild with the ridiculousness of it all. From martial arts masters, hardened stone cold killers, and mental explosive experts, the cast is jam packed with ludicrous gusto and warped personalities. The heavy hitters and mutated madmen of this maddening menagerie of maniacs are Al Cleaver as Ron Shannon a champion game show wasteland warrior who's tough as nails and unkillably legendary. Laura Gemser as Lilith, a telepathic mutant hottie who just wants to get her people to safety. George Eastman as Kurt Karnak, a ruthless hunter and arch rival of Ron's who's always ready for the kill. Hal Yamanochi as Ninja, a loner martial arts master who lives and dies by his fist. Mario Pedone as Kovac, a strong as an ox wasteland warrior and down and out pig. Dino Conti as Professor Levine, the studious leader of the refugees whose pacifist nature makes him as useless as tits on a bowl. And finally, Gordon Mitchell as Colonel Morgan, a hard headed and cruel man of order who will stop at nothing to bring Shannon to justice and massacre every last damn dirty mutant. As unusual as they are entertaining, the ragtag group of actors do a great job in filling in the strangeness of this battered and torn post-World War, and they all dive headlong into the weirdness. When it comes to Italian post-apocalyptic action flicks, the formula pretty much stays the same across the board. You've got mutants, bizarre warring factions, and a loner thrown into a situation where he has to keep a group of people alive. And with Endgame, the filmmakers don't stray very far from the traditional blueprints of the subgenre. What Endgame does emphasize all its efforts on, though, are the interesting characters and the weird and unusual factions that make up the wasteland. From blind monks guided by their telepathic slave, to mutated maniacs fixated on death and dismemberment. The world of Endgame is a true treat to get lost in. The film is one part Mad Max, one part Running Man, and one part Escape from New York, and all parts insane. The Italians were notorious for jumping straight into the post-apocalyptic fray when it came to copying the popular trends at the time, and with Endgame they really upped their game in the bizarre department. 
filled to the brim with violence and unhinged as any from the era. This is one post-apocalyptic project that delves into the more wild aspects of the genre and just revels in it. Al Cleaver does a commendable job as the anti-hero Ron Shannon, as George Eastman does his usual maniacal madman to perfection. If you love the over-the-top nonsensical films of the 80s, especially Italian ones, then you will absolutely get a kick out of this outlandish action sci-fi flick. In the end, Endgame is a stupendously bizarre and totally unusual post-apocalyptic actioneer production that is as badass as it is completely batshit crazy. And there you have it, freak shows. That is the ultimately entertaining and completely batshit crazy post-apocalyptic action flick. That is Endgame. And this one has got all the goods that you're looking for in the genre and just kind of mixes it all up into a catastrophic crazy concoction that is just fun to get swept up in. But guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I love hearing from you guys. But until then, I will see you all at the next Lucid Nightmare. See ya.